In this pre-lab problem, we need to solve for theoretical calculations. In our circuit diagram, shown below, we need to define all relevant circuit variables and calculate the output voltage as V0. The function of our input voltage is V1 and the resistors R1 and R2. We're not going to actually calculate a voltage, we're going to make a formula for it. So we know with op amps, because this is a op amp, we are going to have a Vn here and a Vp here. And the voltages just signify a V negative and a V positive. We know that Vn is equal to Vp, and we know that Vp in this instance is equal to zero because it's directly connected to the ground. Now knowing this, we can write our equation. So we're going to start this equation we know that we have the Vn minus the source voltage, which is V1, and this is all divided by our R1, because it's the voltages over R1. Next, we're going to have a plus, and then we are going to have our Vn minus our output voltage, and this is all over our R2, and we are going to set this equal to zero, and this is Kirchhoff's current law. Now, we need to plug in that our Vn is equal to zero, so this is going to be zero, and this will be a zero. So after going further, we can move our V naught over to the right. This is going to become a negative V1 over R1, and this will be equal to the V naught divided by R2. We want to solve and calculate the output voltage V naught. This means that we want V naught by itself. So we're going to write this as V naught is equal to a negative V1 times our R2 divided by R1, and we have calculated for V0. And if we had values, we could plug them in here and solve for this.